Hey, this is Chuck with BMW Blog, and in this video, I'm going to teach you how to precondition the BMW EVs, the BMW i3, the i4, and the iX. What is preconditioning? Preconditioning is warming up your battery pack and warming up the interior cabin so that you have the best shot of going the farthest distance in extremes of temperature, such as extremely hot or extremely cold. This is not really necessary if you're just going to go to commute and go to work. Uh, but it is very helpful if you're going to go more than 50% of the distance that your car is rated, especially if it's less than 50 degrees Fahrenheit. This video is brought to you by Enphase Energy, the leader in U.S. solar microinverter technology. With Enphase's new line of EV charging products, you can power your commute, grocery trip, and everything between with renewable solar energy. Learn more at Enphase.com slash EV dash chargers. To turn on the preconditioning, and you have to set a departure time. So choose My BMW, go up and select your BMW. Under your BMW, you're going to scroll down until you see Charge and Climate Timer. And then at that point, you want to make sure that this is toggled on and that you pick an actual departure time. So the next departure time for this car is set at 6.30 in the morning. Preconditioning takes approximately about an hour depending on how cold the battery is. This is most important at extremes of temperature. So on this we can also look under my demo vehicles and you can see that the BMW i4 has a very similar mechanism. Again, you're going to want to choose a time to precondition for departure. You need to turn that on. You want to choose automatic climate for departure, turn that on. You're going to choose an actual date and time. We'll choose 7 a.m. And then you need to hit update in my BMW. Then it's export that and send it to the car. To activate preconditioning without using the app, go to the iDrive, select My Vehicle, and under My Vehicle, choose Vehicle Settings. Under this, you need to scroll down to the bottom here and find Activate Climate Control. Now, if you, the Activate Now button is grayed out, you need to set a departure time, and you need to do this by going down and scrolling in the second menu and choosing an actual time and date. You can either choose multiple days of the week, at a particular time or you can choose an individual date and time. Play around with it, figure out what works best for you. I find the app is so much easier to use than going through the 20 some odd steps uh, that you have to go through uh, actually using iDrive which at least in the BMW i3 is fairly cumbersome. The BMW i4 and iX are a little less cumbersome to set preconditioning uh, however again the app is still much easier. The BMW iX and i4 come with iDrive 8. iDrive 8 allows you to program preconditioning via two different methods. By far the easiest to me is to use the climate menu and this label at the bottom center of the screen between the two thermostat settings. To click it, click the settings menu and preconditioning will pop up. Again, you need to pick a departure time and set an actual date that you're going to need it and the time that you want it to, to depart. The BMW will take approximately an hour or so to warm up a cold battery, so it's important that you set the departure time the night before, or at least an hour and a half before you actually need to depart. The other way that you can program preconditioning is to go into the main setting via all apps and then choose the charging app. Once you've done that, then you want to click on departure plan. Once under departure plan, you need to either set a one-time departure time or you can choose to have it done by the day of the week. You can check yourself to make sure it worked correctly by backing out one step and making sure under departure plan that preconditioning for departure has been toggled on and is green. Again, I think that my BMW app on your phone is much easier to use than this. However, it is nice that BMW does give you the option to actually use the car to set it as well. The difference with the BMW i4 and the iX is that it has the ability to actually turn on your electric heated seats. The BMW i3 has electric heated seats, but when you precondition the car, they don't turn on. In the newer BMWs, such as the i4 and the iX, when the car is sufficiently cold and if you have optioned the heated seats and a heated steering wheel, the car will intelligently turn those on to also help raise the temperature in the cabin.
you've set a departure time, you make sure that you're plugged in. So the car has been programmed to have a departure time and precondition then, and then it's plugged in. Again, it's super important to know that you have to set a departure time in the car so that the car knows to charge and precondition not only the cabin, but the battery. This is most important when it's at extremes of temperatures. You wanna check yourself. You just hop in the car, look at your dash, and then you'll see the date and time. Your departure time is gonna show up here. Here's the date. You can see that it's gonna charge up to about 90, percent or so and then it'll finish about the last five percent when it's warming up the battery again this is the only way to set the car to warm up the battery and the cabin otherwise you're just warming up the cabin the only other thing i'd like to point out is if you open up the my bmw app you will see a little fan icon in the bottom corner it's start climatization this will heat up the cabin whether or not it's connected to shore power and allow you to get into a car that's nice and warmed up in the winter. Once you hit start, it sends it to your BMW via a cell signal and then we'll end up in the car and turn the fans on. And there it goes, you can hear the fan starting to turn on now. So the main difference between climatization and preconditioning is that climatization only heats up the cabin. Preconditioning will heat up the cabin as well as the battery. Preconditioning requires you to program a time of departure. Climatization, or just heating the cap, you can just hit the fan icon on your app whenever you want, about five or 10 minutes before departure and you get into a warmed up car. What's interesting about BMW is that they always choose 72 degrees Fahrenheit, or about 22 degrees Celsius to make the cabin set. Can't really pick a different temperature. That's what they shoot for. If it's super hot outside, it turns the air conditioning on. If it's super cold outside, it actually warms the heat up. So BMW wisely chose a number that's very comfortable when you get in the car. Just know that regardless of what the temperature is, it's going to 72 and that's what it's programmed. No changing that. So preconditioning is best probably if you're gonna go to grandma's for Thanksgiving and she lives 100 miles away, you probably wanna precondition your battery before you go. And as always, please don't forget to like and subscribe to our BMW blog YouTube channel. If you have other questions about electric cars, Leave the comments down below and I'll be sure to answer them for you.